So you want to do well in inverse trigonometry. You are a student of mathematics in class 12 and you have an idea about how inverse trigonometry works. You know the formulas and the basic theorems and this video gives you a little extra problems which will encourage you to think out of the box and I'm sure that if you practice these problems along with me it will definitely help you in your preparation for your exams. So coming to the first question evaluate sine of 2 cot inverse minus 5 by 12. So we have this property that uh, cot inverse minus x is pi minus cot inverse x. So this becomes sine of 2 pi minus cot inverse 5 by 12. That is sine 2 pi you are multiplying by 2. So sine 2 pi minus 2 cot inverse 5 by 12. Now you know that um, sine 2 pi minus theta in the second quadrant sine is we are in the fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant sine is negative. So this becomes minus sine here only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So this becomes uh, uh, minus sine 2 cot inverse 5 by 12. And now let cot inverse 5 by 12 be equal to theta. So cot theta will be 5 by 12. Cot theta kya hota hai? 5 by 12 hota hai. So, so tan theta becomes 12 by 5. And if you take a right angle triangle, so this sine 2 pi minus cot inverse 5 by 12 becomes minus sine 2 theta. And what is minus sine 2 theta? It is minus 2 sine theta cos theta. This becomes minus 2 sine theta cos theta. Now you must excuse my handwriting because I am writing with the mouse. And we have a right angle triangle here. So this is theta here, tan theta will be opposite side by adjacent side. So the hypotenuse will be 13 and sin theta becomes minus 2, uh, 12 by 13. It, basically it's 12 by 13 and cos theta becomes 5 by 13. Cos theta becomes 5 by 13. So now you can simplify this 12 into 5 60, 60 into 2 120. So it is minus 120 by 169. So answer kya hota hai? Minus 120 by 169 ho hai. Now abhi second, second question. Prove that tan inverse root 1 plus x squared plus root 1 minus x squared by root 1 plus x squared minus root 1 minus x squared is pi by 4 plus half cos inverse x squared. Now I am going to give you a very important hint or a trick to solve trigonometry inverse trigonometry questions and that is use substitute, use a substitution. So here if I put x squared as cos 2 theta, 2 theta becomes cos inverse x squared. So this becomes tan inverse of root 1 plus cos 2 theta plus root 1 minus cos 2 theta by root plus 1 plus cos 2 theta minus root 1 minus cos 2 theta. Now cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin squared theta. Aapko malum hoga ye formula bahut hi important hai cos 2 theta ka 2 cos squared theta minus 1 ya yeah, 1 minus 2 sin squared theta. So substitute here so you get tan inverse of root of 1 plus x squared becomes cos 2 theta root of 2 this becomes 1 plus cos 2 theta which becomes root 2 cos squared theta 1 minus cos 2 theta becomes root 2 sin squared theta and so it is root 2 cos squared theta plus root 2 sin squared theta by root 2 cos squared theta minus root 2 sin squared theta. The root 2 gets cancelled, the square root gets cancelled. So you get tan inverse of cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta minus sin theta. Divide by cos theta, so you get tan inverse of 1 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan theta. Now 1 is tan pi by 4. 1 kya hota hai? Tan pi by 4. So yeah, substitute here, you get tan inverse of tan pi by 4 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan pi by 4 tan theta. This is nothing but the expansion of tan a plus b. Tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. 
So you get tan inverse of tan pi by 4 plus theta which is pi by 4 plus theta and now we substitute so this is pi by 4 plus now what is theta I'm just going up so we have x squared is cos 2 theta so 2 theta becomes cos inverse x squared so theta is cos inverse x squared by 2 theta kya ban jata hai cos inverse x squared by 2 ban jata hai so yaha pe theta plus cos inverse x squared by 2 I will just repeat it once more because my handwriting is really something which needs to be worked upon. So, so this becomes cos inverse of x squared by 2. I think we are having quite a laugh here with this so I'll just write it once again that is pi by 4 plus half cos inverse x squared by 2 you need to have some entertainment also in a video right so I hope this is entertaining you half cos inverse x squared all right now Going to the next question, we have simplify cos inverse of simplify cos inverse of 3 by 5 cos x plus 4 by 5 sin x. So we make a substitution here. You put cos alpha as 3 by 5. So if I take a right angle triangle, cos is adjacent side by hypotenuse so this side becomes 5 sin alpha is 4 by 5 and that is what you have here so you can write it as cos inverse cos alpha cos x plus sin alpha sin x what is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b cos a minus b cos a minus b ka formula kya hota hai cos a cos b plus sin a sin b to ye ban jata hai cos alpha minus x cos inverse cos alpha minus x is alpha minus x so this is alpha minus x becomes uh, cos inverse 3 by 5. You can also write it as cos inverse 3 by 5 minus x. Okay. Coming to the next question. Prove that sin, sin of 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 plus cos tan inverse 2 root 2 is 14 by 15. Now let tan inverse 1 by 3 be theta. So theta, tan theta is 1 by 3. So again I take a right angle triangle. Tan is adjacent side by hypotenuse. So this becomes root 10 by Pythagoras theorem. So sin 2 tan inverse 1 by 3 becomes sin 2 theta. Which is 2 sin theta cos theta. Sin 2 theta ka formula kya hai? 2 sin theta cos theta. That is 2 sin theta is 1 by root 10. Cos theta is 3 by root 10. So this is 6 by 10. Now we come to tan inverse 2 root 2. Let tan inverse 2 root 2 be 5. So tan 5 is 2 root 2. Again take a right angle triangle. Tan is opposite side by adjacent side. So this becomes 8 plus 1, 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So cos of 5 becomes 1 by 3. And now you just substitute here. So when you substitute, you get this becomes 3 by 5 plus 1 by 3. And your answer is... 14 by 15. Your answer is 14 by 15. Now we come to the last problem in this and that is solve sin inverse 6x plus sin inverse 6 root 3x is minus pi by 2. Solving means you have to find x. Solving ka matlab kya hota hai? x dunna hai. So we can write sin inverse 6 root 3x as minus pi by 2 minus sin inverse 6x. Take sin inverse to the other side. So you get 6 root 3x is sin of minus pi by 2 minus sin inverse 6x. Now sin inverse minus theta is minus sin inverse theta. So you can take out the minus sign. So it becomes minus sin pi by 2 plus sin inverse 6x. 
and sin pi by 2 plus theta is cos theta. Sin is neg positive in the second quadrant, but anyway, you have a negative sign, so it becomes minus cos sin inverse x. You can convert this to sin by writing as root of 1 minus sin squared sin inverse x. Cos theta kya hota hai? Root 1 minus sin squared theta. So, ye root 1 minus sin squared sin inverse 6x six ban jata hai, or minus sin to hai hi. So we have 6 root 3x is minus root of this becomes 1 minus 36x squared when you square it. And now square both sides because you have a square root. So 108x squared is 1 minus 36x squared. So 144x squared is 1. x squared is 1 by 144. So x is plus or minus 1 by 12. So x ka value plus or minus 1 by 12 ban jata hai. Now when we look up. Your value is sin, solve sin inverse 6x plus sin inverse 6 root 3x is minus pi by 2. So we need to have a minus sign because sin minus theta is minus theta. So your final value of x will be minus 1 by 12. So I have given you a gist of a few problems in inverse trick which require a little extra thinking. I hope this was useful for you and if you need to know the all the formulas for inverse trick do send me a message so I can direct you to my website and uh, do let me know for any further help on MCQs or inverse trigonometry questions. Thank you so much.